This is a presentation of Dr. Philip Arb's work. I would like to tell you about tridimensional mandibular posture in association or not with temporomandibular joints dysfunctions. This report aims at reviewing physiological and pathological data on occlusopostural local as well as an in-depth study of the links between etiologies and consequences of temporomandibular dysfunctions and then, finally, treatments according to occlusodontist and treatments I personally favor. Firstly, anatomical recall. General physiological posture, chewing muscles, tongue muscles, temporomandibular joints, 3D cephalometric synthesis. Let's start with general physiological posture. Chewing muscles. Tongue muscles. Temporal mandibular joint. Three D cephalometric synthesis skull. Maxilla. And finally the mandibule. As well as other anatomical videos about supraioidal and subioidal muscles which are in the making. Secondly, physiological mandibular dynamics on a symmetrical face and on an asymmetrical face. Let's take, for example, a symmetrical face. Cranial, maxillary, mandibular symmetrical plans and their interactivity. The hinge axis, the bitemporal axis, and bicondylar functional McCallum's axis. Postel's diagram modified into a triagram as we are using a tridimensional representation. Here is an example of the inferior labial thranium insertion point aligned with the superior labial thranium with the mandibular in a resting position which closes towards maximal intercuspidal occlusion. Then, opening up in a straight line, this movement is performed with condylodiscal coaptations. The hinge axes are parallel or coincide, and Postel's triagram is then balanced, and you can see it in blue. Thirdly, pathological mandibular dynamics of a symmetrical face of an asymmetrical face. For occlusodontists, in short, the problem is either in the hinge through disc subluxation caused by a trauma or a pathological general posture or in the muscle, either stress-related or hyperfunctional. According to us, doctors Harb and Debus, the problem can be found in mandibular posture abnormalities due to several etiologies. Here is the influence of the pathological general posture. The osteopathic hypothesis with the inversion of the views the kinesiological hypothesis with muscular spasms, disc subluxations, about subluxations. We will use as an example 
a disc dislocation which can be reduced on the left on an asymmetrical face. As you can see, the mandibular is asymmetrical. This can be seen in the disalignment of the attachment of the superior and inferior labial frenium. This misalignment is aggravated by the abnormal positioning of the mandibular on the left. This abnormality is caused by the left disc dislocation, which provokes dysfunctional hinge access and an out of balance possess triagram in red here. Asymmetrical cases and or having occlusal dysfunction without disc subluxations or anatomical anomalies of the temporal mandibular joint or the functions or hyperfunctions abnormalities are in the making. Fourthly, treatments. Occlusodontists treat asymptomatic disc dislocations considered the cause of dysfunctions through release of the temporal mandibular joints in a central occlusion. As for me, I treat dysfunctions included in the anomalies of mandibular posture in order to restore functional hinge axis either through provisional treatment or through immediate definitive treatment by the means of orthodontics. So my orthopedic and or orthodontic treatments with or without articulated problems are carried out by way of trispatial mandibular repositioning. In the most exhaustive possible way are the cases for treatments according to Oclusodontist and to Dr. Harb are in the production stages as are the treatments of asymmetrical cases and their orthosurgical preparation. The infographic production of this work was carried out by Mr. Benoit Ventoum of 3dmedicus.com. Thank you for listening, ladies and gentlemen.